<laughs> Bye, go with my own mate, Calvin here. This is like take 24. <laughs> Bag out with my own mate, Gavin here now. Just like to point out, it's a very sensitive week for Gavin. No, no. He's a very big Liverpool supporter. <laughs> and uh, very proud of me ex Spurs player, <laughs> Gareth Bale. <laughs> thanks for that, thanks for that, Gareth. <laughs> yes. Uh, I didn't just imagine you to get that one in right and I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. But um, <laughs> leaving all that to the side, we're, uh, we're just outside, I suppose, between Andrew and Tamil Patrick, yep. chopping a bit of grass. A lot of kit changes here at uh, yeah. night. You are now in a what? Late 60. Class. And this is how long have you run this now, Gavin? This is now our third season. Third season. And I suppose the last that we caught up with you, you were still in the 870. Yeah. And but you've changed a lot of plan. This is the last time, yeah. Uh, we'll start it this year. Well this year, uh, this year we changed the shovel would have been the big thing. This year changed from a from a 416 JCB. A 416. Two, uh? It's a Volvo and L90 H. She is. So, uh, what a piece of kit. We were up looking at it there, and young Andrew Sterling's driving away at it there, and no steering wheel. Yeah. yeah. She's all the bells and whistles. She seems to have uh, told a lot of our contractor friends and stuff, the guys that run them, and we're well, well pleased with them. Didn't give a lot of bother and put a lot of hours on them. your old grape? My old grape was a 12 foot red rock. It was. And what's your new grape? It's <laughs> a 16 foot. We went to 16 for. When you put on a 16 foot, but I was looking at the grape there. A very, very, very solid looking grape, but it's not a it's not a brand I'm aware of. No. Um, uh, it's a guy, Mark Belford, Mark and Dean. Um, they are from down around Port Down country. And i seen their grape. It's actually, I've seen it on, seen it on Facebook. First of all, and then I went to look at one. Keith Livingston run one last year. MDE, it's Mark and Dean, the engineer, I think it says, but it's Mark Belford who I was dealing with. Mark, really nice, nice fella. So he is, good guy, do pretty much anything uh, for you. It's a very, very strong grape. Yeah, it does. It's but you did devalue it a wee bit by putting your name on it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That was all in the price. That was all. That was. <laughs> you got it for the same price. Looks you well, the RNG McKnight. Thought it, thought it, did, it looked well now. And definitely, I. Oh yeah, I would recommend anybody to have a look at them anyway. So this wee class tractor is the farmer. Yeah, farmers joined in, and that's a bit of a long cart. Yeah, there's a long draw here, and they have us. Um, they have a couple of trailers just so. So they used to do their own grass type thing, and the couple of trailers sitting there. So. I brought four chillers today and Brian and Sammy's working with, working with another two, which is, could nearly do another one, but 
and stay at home. So it's sex isn't too bad. It's not too bad at all. So, um, grass this season now, Gavin. Well, well, I suppose back to the Volvo, the L90. <laughs> Have you had a run on her yet? I, I no. To be honest, we called up to the yard and and we were out videoing. And what I did do, I jumped up in and spoke to young Andrew because I know Andrew. Yeah. And. Um, Spoke to Andrew and I was just I was blown away by just the smoothness and everything about her. Yeah. Um, you know I'm a JCB man, me personally, but I look it'll be very hard to find fault with that now. She's a, oh. a very and but then look, you're in absolutely ideal conditions. Yeah, yeah, no, it's the grass is dry and it's perfect really, perfect. Oh dear. No. Alright. Uh, I'll do it. Good man. The right hand side. That side. Just wee bit of metal. Style. <laughs> yeah. A couple must have been two or three wee bits in there, Gum. Generally, that happens when you the more we get it, and then it cuts it in two or three wee bits, you know. Well, harvester. Uh -huh. or, or would you be planning to run it any longer than the three seasons, or what? Have you any thoughts on it? Planning to run her four or five. Anyway, that's one. But here, I can't see why. Um, but she's now well touched wood. What at the minute would. You know, <laughs> just looking out the hedge. Well, I think the road definitely are getting there too, like at the looks of Well, uh, we have the 630, as you know, for the year. Yeah. I suppose. Where would the 630 be beside this, technically? The 630 should be a bit ahead of this now. She should be definitely a bit faster. So what about the general fleet, Gavin? Yeah, I mean, you hear that a couple of years ago, maybe two you're, or three years ago. You're, you're, you're heading away from the blue ones. It's just the sad reality for New Holland, but you're heading away from them. Well, um, I suppose a lot of the drivers like the deers and stuff too. I don't have anything against New Holland at all. Um, Except Blake. Blake loves the New Holland, yes, he loves his New Holland. Definitely have to get our new haul there for him. <laughs> so, well, um, up here there's pluses and minuses for both of them, I suppose. Um, the deer seem to be pretty reliable and don't give me a lot of bother. And, um, well, like that, that 150R, what all are you running deer wise at the minute? Well, the 150R there the and the 16 ton, and the 140R, 14 ton, see so on, and then a 6080. on a 16 ton chiller on a T7 200 on a 14 ton. Um, and then the 215. And then the 215. Oh, on and the, then the wee one that your dad, even your dad still. My dad's still there. Yeah, flat. He loves it, keeps him in Anderson. He's in a T6175. It is, T6175. Great wee tractor, really likes her. Yeah, really like it. And all the boys sort of like her. Um, she would go on the pipe and the in the winter time, you know, it's not about like okay. Um, I wonder would he like to try the new dynamic command? I'm sure he would, that would be the only downside, probably the gearbox, you know, it wouldn't be just as nice maybe as like your direct drive or your vario box, like in the but ears. Have you, have you heard much about this new DCT? No, I haven't heard a lot about it yet, it would be, it would be nice to try one to see what it was like. It just so happens. That you're getting oh, one? I'm getting one. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> when, we get, when we get the old boy on it in the ring, we'll and see how he gets on. He would love that. Well, it's the exact same size of tractor. It's a 175, isn't it? Or 61, D6 175. It would be nice to try that to see what the gearbox was like in it, you know? Um, so you want the 630. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you like the 630, you have to buy her. You have to buy her. 
Well, you never know what will happen. Will they give her You never know what. Uh, there's not many things you saw that's, that's not that nice and you wouldn't want to buy. But, yeah, no, the rig, I, the rig was last year too. It changed, changed that to the, what, the 3600 class. Yeah. Again, you were humming and hawing there too. You were talking about the 1400 and did you need the big rig? But yeah. now that you've run the big rig, you wouldn't go back. No, no, love it, love it. No, it's a great job. A lot less driving. And your dad had no issues getting on to it? No, very Bob simple. was straight in there, no problem to him? No, he got on to it as soon as he got the control box figured out on it. He was grand. She's actually far handier to get in and out places than the and 3100. Is, is he still combining? Oh yeah, he'll go to the combine and then end of July, August time, you know, it's usually around that before we even start up here. And you run a fusion now as well? Ah uh, yeah, yeah, it'll be a fusion, a fusion too. I had a, I but had you, a, don't, you don't overly push it? No, no. Just, this is the main? No, the grass, the bulk stuff's the main, but just a few bits and pieces with the baler, you know. What size of field is this? <laughs> 0.75 of an... A one, one, one UK acre or 0.75 of an Irish acre. Or is that an Irish acre? Uh, yeah, I've only heard that there today with the Irish heard, acres. I tell me an Irish acre is bigger. I don't know. Eh? Maybe somebody told me that and I believed them. <laughs> so you get a US gallon and a UK gallon. What river is that? Maine? No. That's the six mile. Oh. No, it's about half an acre. That's fine, wouldn't it be? It wouldn't be much more. No. <laughs> <coughs> and you're still into your football? Yeah, yeah, um, very unlucky there at the weekend. In Liverpool? Yes, I think uh, Madrid were handling, handling our keeper a few backhanders or something. Really. I, think, I think backhander, I don't know what people would say there now. <laughs> How's the two boys? Oh, the two boys are good, yeah, they're good, they're both into their football too, so they are. Are they into this at all? Yeah, yeah, they love it, they love it, so they They were both out there, they were other day they're both out with us again. One of them sails with Blake most of the time, <laughs> the other one will get in with me. Um, no, I love it, which is good that they have an interest in it too, you know. So it is, we sort of hope to pass it down to them at some stage. That's it, that's it. Well, that's, that's what that, look, that is what it's all about. Yeah, I'm just trying to, try to build the thing up a wee bit, you know. Before my dad had the contract years ago, you know. But you're going rightly. I will. Friendly bank manager, I said. <laughs> or as Mark Troy said, he is an accountant, but a very bad one. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's a bad accountant, that's why he does the good. <laughs> I'll have a wee bit of things will happen there. Oh, no, you can't get it all in all the time. <laughs> Try to. You wouldn't be the worst I've ever seen at it. Certainly uh, not the best. No. <laughs> but you, 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 wouldn't, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be the worst. Why, well, thank you, Garth. Business. Right to business. You're milking cows, you're loving life, you're making money. Who you said about making money? You're. Hey, what's uh, your oil hype? I'm you're, trying to get that wee bit You're, grass, you're living the dream, Gavin. Living the dream. Everything's alright when it's going, everything's going okay, and the sun's shining. Every day's not like this, car. We come through, well, many months of pure torturous weather. Nine? Nine months. But, but already we're starting to forget about it. Yeah. But I'll tell you what's not forgetting about it, and I've seen this everywhere that I've travelled this year within both the north and the south. The ground hasn't recovered. No, the ground's a problem. The ground's very, very yeah. rough, very hard, it's dried out very quick. It's dried out. That, that was the biggest problem last year. It was year. so late at getting rolled and stuff, yeah. you can see a lot of, a lot of, you know, it's, but you know what? 
the sun it makes a big difference. It does. You get up in the morning, you're feeling better when it's when the sun's shining rather than. It's, e it's easier jumping out of the bed, isn't it? It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Gavin, I'm great crack getting out, seeing you again. Well, I love seeing the old mates flying and getting on well. <laughs> Today's would be done your best day, like you've spilled grass, Liverpool lost. <laughs> But here, you never doesn't go well all the time, or does it? Well, the last day we were out, you do wear a cod, and then you blocked her. But we never showed anybody that. Did I block her? Man, you blocked her, you were so embarrassed. And I sat in there and I laughed. And I laughed. And I better laughed. And you blow her, did it set back a wee bit? That was the problem. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't actually driver error that day, I think. Well, <laughs> Look, it's good to see you getting on well. A lot of nice machines about. We're going to try if we can. I'm not saying we will. We're going to try if we can get out with the crone and maybe the wee, the wee, the wee 175. I'd like your dad to see it, and I would like Blake to see it because he's a big New Holland man, and we want to introduce Blake to our fans as well because he's the guy that makes all the models. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we'll see. Look, if there's any other toys come along, I know, I know if the two once the 250 comes, you'd be very keen to see it. Yeah, I would, yeah. yeah. Um, would be very keen to see yeah. And that, And that's that. No, day it on there. Yeah. Hey, how do you make money? Don't. Don't make any money. Well, what, what's the point of doing this? It's in the blog. Same as your first wee video in the blog. You just... I don't know what well, else it would be. By the way, if you're picking up, Galvin was in the very first DVD. He was so useless in it. No, no, that's about. That we discontinued the DVD. <laughs> but we do have that, the 190. And all that we talked about earlier on was in that DVD. We must talk about the archives. But we'll see you all later before my camera runs down. And, uh... Oh, I just one last thing. The wife's still with you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Of course she is. Why would she not be? Huh? I could never work that one out, you know. <laughs> I always thought you were punching well above your weight now, mate. Yeah. All right, Leon. <laughs> Pretty bit of me punching. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye now.